missing one. And I don't know where it is. I'm missing something here. Okay, I've already gotten this one. Ah, where's the last thing be? Alright, let's try this one. one. Did I find the thing here? Yeah, it dropped down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Labots. I'm, I'm chill. <laughs> I mean, anytime I play Gris, I'm, I'm pretty chill. <laughs> How about you, dude? Thanks for dropping by, by the way. Yes, I'm, I'm having quite the time with Gris. I was playing um, uh, Aeon of Sands, The Trail, before. That was uh, quite interesting. Why are you devastated? Has it got anything to do with the European Super League? I heard about that, and I thought, damn, that's... um. That's really messed up what they're doing with soccer. I assume it's that, but if it's something else, do tell. Hmm. Oh, I can actually go inside this thing. That's right, this area here messed me up. Now, do I try to go to the left? Yes, I think I should try to go to the left. Yeah, this is where I got screwed last time. I tried to go to the left and I couldn't. My brother had a crash because of some impatient idiot. First car as well. But apart from that, okay. I'm sorry to hear that, Lovitz. Um, Is your brother okay? Did you get hurt, or was it just a um, uh, damage to the car or cars? Car accidents always nasty business. Two months. Yeah. Sorry to hear that, Lovitz. My brother's been involved in a few crashes. Hurt his neck and hurt my dad's arm. Oh. 
That sucks, man. Hopefully, um... Hopefully the, the damage can be, you know, you can recover without having to pay huge hospital bills. I know the hospitals are not a place you want to be with the, uh, the pandemic around as well. I mean, I've had, um, I've had a few cars, but I haven't owned a car for, um, God, how, how many years now? Since I was 25, when I moved to Japan the first time. Um, so I, I haven't had a car for 15 years. I have my license, but yeah. Well, yeah, hopefully your, um, your trip will be better. Yeah, just, uh, you, your brother and your dad, the injuries can, you know, you can rest up, heal up, and hopefully get some R&R &R on your trip. Yeah. Sorry to hear that, and, uh, yeah, I hope that, um, things work out, man. Gris is such a maze. Oh! There you go, cheeky little bird. Hmm. Oh, that's the last one. Okay, I can finally get to the next area, I think. Um, if you don't mind me asking, uh, where is your trip to? I believe that, um, you live in the UK, along with, uh, Dakos. I think that's how you found me. So, I wonder where people in the UK would, uh, travel to. Curious, curious. Ah, oh, Wales. Interesting place. I mean, when I get enough money and, like, stability in my life, and, you know, we're free of the pandemic, I would love to visit Europe. UK especially, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, all those sorts of places. Oh, dog. We've got a dog, we've got a uh, beagle. What about you? Is it a big old dog or is it a, a small, small boy? Don't come stoke, ha <laughs> stalk. <laughs> ah, are you and Gemster in the, um, the same sort of area? I think it's all perspective. For me, it's been like, uh, I mean, I like Australia, but I think it's boring. I guess if you came from a different place though, you'd probably think that Australia is like a, an exotic paradise. I don't know. Stoke. Mm. Yeah, I mean, once you get out of your, your um, familiar surroundings, and you go to a different place, it's like, oh, this place is interesting, even though it might have some bad things about it. So I think it's a matter of perspective. But I don't wanna... Don't wanna yuck your yum or anything like that. I wouldn't like Stoke. Would I, would I get stabbed? <laughs> would, would I get... Like, um, beaten up by a gang or something. That happens in Australia a lot too. Like, we have all that sort of, uh, nonsense as well. We're not immune to it. If it's just like, you know, the crushing unemployment rate in the area, like, we've got that too. Definitely got that too. Phone call in 10 minutes for a college. Do you mean, like, um... You go to a college? 
If so, that's good. It's always good to further re your education. Ah. Dirty and not a lot to do. I mean, where I am currently, I don't want to power with myself, but um, people could consider it like um, the sticks. Kind of boring. Um, not a lot to do. But uh, yeah. Last year of high school. Do you have plans to stay in your area? Or do you plan to like, maybe move away, go to a college, maybe move abroad? I, I wish, I wish I put some thought into those sorts of questions when I was your age. Because I didn't, I kind of drifted. I even had to repeat a year of uh, high school. Because my uh, marks were not good enough to get into the course I wanted to at university. The first time around. I was quite a bit of pill to swallow. I don't consider myself stupid. I just consider myself a, maybe a little bit easily led when I was younger. Mm. It's, it's, it's very difficult to justify moving away, isn't it? Like, the, the circumstances have to be right, or you have to have, like, passion. For me, I had a passion to go to Japan. But, um... I don't advise people to go to Japan. The, the wages are very low. They they don't appreciate they don't they don't appreciate the uh, the people that come to go over to teach. And if you're not teaching in Japan, um, unless you've got qualifications, it's very difficult to do anything else. But yeah, I mean, there's a reason why I came back to Australia after I left Japan. It's because you know. For all the shit I give it, it's my home, I like it. Oh, good, we're finally back to this area. We can finally go upwards. What? But I got them all. Dang it. Okay, well... I'm guessing because it's the far... Oh, I'm missing two. Oh, God. Yeah, I would, um... I'd recommend Japan as, like, a, um... A holiday destination, for sure. You can get, like, a 90-day tourist visa. You can stay in, um... Most people, like, are not in a situation where they can leave work for a very long periods of time. But, like, if you're a student... Um... Well, basically, you are in a position... So you go to these places, like, they're kind of like, like hostels, but um, you could stay in like a hostel sort of share house environment for like uh, between 40 and 60,000 yen per month. That'd be the equivalent of about 750 Australian dollars for the entire month. You know, you, you get your own place to sleep, you get like a small place to put your belongings, but like 750 for an entire month and you can just go nuts in Japan. And um, the cost of living is relatively cheap. It's just the wages are stagnant. But yeah, it's like it's like a it almost is like a tourist playground. You can do so much in Japan. Like you got the obviously Disney Sea, Disney World, you got the USJ, you've got the Fuji Highland amusement parks. You've got the bars, you've got the nightlife other like events that just pop up all over the place historical sites basically if you were going anywhere over here you would have to book a motor van and do the north coast 500 in scotland do some wild camping camping i like the idea of camping and i'm not opposed to it it's just that um i'm such a soft boy at this stage of my life I could probably rough it though. I've definitely roughed it before and I've done camping before. It's just. But if I was in a, in a foreign country like Scotland or Ireland, roughing it in, in those sorts of scenic surroundings might actually be like a, a real interesting experience. Oh yeah, camper van. My dad has, um, well, he's recently sold his, uh, caravan. It's not quite a camper van, but he has had the camper van before. 
Yeah. Getting an international driver's license overseas though is somewhat of a hassle and I don't have my manuals yet. If I was to recommend one thing to you, definitely get the manual license, not because it's useful to you, but because a lot of jobs require it. It's a dumb requirement, but they require it anyway. So... If you have the choice between going for your manual or your automatic, just go for the manual. I myself are probably going to have to skill up and get that manuals. Manual. Rubble items. Where could this last bug... Oh! See you. Okay, that's one. So I'm missing... Missing one more. But we'll check around this area. And it could be... Yeah. Please be the missing one, Randy, please. Please, 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 please. Can we go further up? No? Okay. Can we go here, though? Yeah. Let's open up these flowers. There you go. Pretty bird. Oh, what the hell is that? do anything further in there. That's right. Um, I was on the other side, the right side of that, so the last thing is probably in this area. Yeah. That makes sense. As much as I like this game, and I, and I do think it's pretty, I do crave change. In this final slot, hmm, do I do another chill game, or do I... Oh wait, damn it, no. <laughs> ah. Okay. Run, run. I didn't know I had to do this at an, uh, an increased pace. Oh. And I uh, Oh, I can feel it in my funny bone. I feel like we found the place. I watched a, um, a person I followed. It seems a lot of streamers have uh, YouTube channels now, which is good. I'm not joking. I mean, I have one, but I had I had pre-existing one. But um, he made a um, a video rating the games he had played on his stream to celebrate one year of streaming, which I think oh, okay, that's a pretty cool, pretty cool idea. And he talked about Gris, and he he called it pretentious. I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, I get it. Oh, open up your flower to me. Hmm. Can I... Can I just get in your flower? Oh, can I get it? No. And I can't, I can no longer get up. Oh dear. Oh wait, no, I'm done. Quick. Oh. And I will. There we go. That's right. Oh, so close. 
taken yet so far. Are you close enough? There we go. Okay. Not too difficult. Come on, you little bitch. <laughs> Oh no. I wonder what game will replace this one. Do I go retro or do I go new? Is the last one. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. We finally get out of this area. We're that much closer to uh to finishing. Another game that I'd like to finish sooner rather than later is The Messenger. It's a good game, it's just that's a long boy. That's a long boy. Oh. Lead bomb. There we go. Just like my dog, when we say bath time, there's a lead bomb. Achievement unlocked, magic fouls. Mmm, something's happening. that the puzzle game puzzle game uh, it was probably something that I said what games did I mention <laughs> um the messenger the message is the game that I've been uh, rotating in the first slot on my Sunday stream it's like Ninja Gaiden and Shovel Knight together and uh, yeah um, it's not easy for some of the puzzles. And what I'm trying to do at this point is um, unlock the Feebkins and the green coins to unlock the secret chest. Because I believe that that's tied into like good ending sort of thing. And as nice as the game is, as cool as the game is, like once I finish with it, I'm not going back to it. So it doesn't have that sort of replayability like a JRPG would. There we go. Yes. Yes. It's like she's walking up a spider's web. Okay, time to sing. Ooh. Constellation gets added to. Oh, 
Oh, it's a pathway, it's not a constellation at all. Ha! Oh. How close are we to completing this game? Do I like a colour as well? That person is late.